Do you need a thermal printer for shipping labels? What about for eBay? What about for Shopify, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Instagram? I don't know where you're selling your products, but do you need a thermal printer? Is it 100% necessary? That's what we're gonna go over in this video. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and today we're talking about printers. I really want to bust this myth that you have to get a thermal printer because I get this message on Instagram all the time and people are just starting out and they're asking me what printer they should buy. My general recommendation is, dude, what printer do you have at your house? Because the printer you have at your house, you can print shipping labels on. It doesn't have to be a thermal label. There is no postal requirement of the type of paper. It just needs to be a scannable barcode to be able to ship with UPS, FedEx, or USPS. You can print that on normal eight and a half by 11, Fold it up, put it in a little waybill pouch, stick this on your packages because the back is adhesive there. You can print it out, cut it out, tape it onto the package. You can buy half sheet sticky labels, print it on that, stick it onto the package. There's multiple ways to do it without a thermal printer that work perfectly fine. And for any business starting, that's really what I recommend that you do. You don't need to start with a thermal printer, especially if funds are tight. Try to cut costs any ways possible. And just to provide an example of people that are doing a pretty large volume, Renzi, Ryan and Lindsay, they do a ton of shoes on Poshmark. And for them, they use an inkjet printer they got secondhand from a thrift store that has the functions that they need, which is more important than anything, which we'll get to later in different videos, is what printer for what function. They had an inkjet printer that they thrifted. I'm not exactly sure what my it is but it's compatible with their phones and for them working off of Poshmark it's a very mobile platform they need that function more so than they need a thermal sticky label for their business. Ryan and Allie with Rally Roots, they started with an inkjet printer and when I visited them, when they were doing a bunch of orders every day, they were still using an inkjet printer. Yes, they have recently upgraded to Rolo and once you go thermal, you usually never go normal because it's a luxury. It is faster with the adhesion and how fast it prints, but it's something to grow into more so than I think to start with. Especially if that's a barrier that's stopping you from actually like starting to get products out of your house and ship them to people. If you're new to shipping and to printing, we're eventually gonna get into the three main types of printers, all the pros and cons. I've made videos in the past about laser jet printers, which are great. I have a laser printer, look over here. Look at that bad boy, he's beautiful. I got him from a thrift store, paid $5, and it works for a specific purpose. I have an inkjet printer, let's go look at it. There we go. There's the inkjet printer. This has a specific purpose. And I have a thermal printer. I actually probably have like 12 thermal printers. One thermal printer, two thermal printers, empty thermal printer, three thermal printers, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got more than 12, I'm sorry. But I use those to teach people how to install them if they already have them. I really don't want people going out of their way and buying one if they don't understand that they can use a normal printer that may fit their home better than a thermal printer would. For example, if you have a kid in college, you have a husband and everyone needs to print documents as well, a printer that can print everything and be networked so anyone can use it and it's efficient and it's cheap to maintain and cheap to refill ink or cheap to refill toner might be a better printer than a thermal printer. For that household, it might be better to get a different option. So as Thermal printers are great. It's a luxury item. You don't have to have one in order to start your business. I don't recommend that you go out and buy one if you don't have the funds for it. It's a luxury that if you take it away, it's not gonna make or break anyone's business for the most part. There are some huge gigantic businesses out there that run solely off of thermal printers and they need their thermal printers. But for the most part, most at home, eBay, Amazon businesses, could do without one, but it's just a luxury for us. We love it, we use it, but if I didn't have the money for it, my business would go on. Before we get out of here, I wanna show you one thing. If you print a shipping label, the shipping label gets wet, the ink could run, and the address could be ruined, package could be lost. Although that scenario is probably gonna be less than a percent of a percent of a percent. Anyways, I just wanna show you this before we close. Here I have two shipping labels, one from an inkjet printer. They've been soaking, soaking for a while. And I wanna show you, Although the paper is ripping because of what I'm doing to it right now, 
the ink did not run at all. So if we were to be at the post office, they would still be able to scan it. You can still read the address labels perfectly fine. In conclusion, you do not necessarily need a thermal printer. It's a luxury. It's a nice luxury. It might not even be the best option for your household, depending on all these different factors. You want a printer you can be proud of. You want a printer that you got a good deal on. You want a printer that you understand how to refill the ink or toner and get a good deal on it and have a really amazing page per print cost and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.